the first time. We're all together in our 50s. You see our photo, so you feel that you know us. When you come together with your chosen family, I think that's emotional. There's something about that shared history that we have. I feel blessed that we're here today. We've all gone through so many things in our own lives. Cindy, Linda, Christy, and Naomi are still redefining what it means to be a model. There was a feeling about them that they wanted more. I was not seen as a person who had a voice in her own destiny. He said you should lose five pounds. I got scared I didn't belong. But Linda's a chameleon. She could really become whatever the photographer wanted her to become. I would do all these great shows, wear all these beautiful dresses, but then it would come time to the advertising and I would not be included. I wasn't going to be bullied for the color of my skin. What I loved about the girls, they were a group, and that was so fabulous. We were always together and we made great photos together. You know, I just felt like to be together as a group, it just was so fun. They were my sisters. We get this phone call that George Michael wants to shoot us in his video. We made a decision. I will do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, OK, I'll do it. Freedom! Everything changed. You can start to call the shots and be an active participant in your career. All of a sudden, we were the physical representations of power. I wanted to go further. I wanted to push the envelope. They brought their artistry to the image. They would see things we didn't necessarily see. They're like the Mona Lisa, the face of her era. They're larger than life. We helped break down barriers. I have to think of something greater than myself. When I first was referred to as a supermodel, I was like, why are they calling us this? It wasn't about the hair and the makeup. It wasn't about the fashion. It was about the women. That's what a supermodel is.